Yo, what's up fam? Welcome to the channel. I'm Brandon Rico and today I want to talk to you about a app that has made it into my top tier list of utility apps. This app has definitely made my list of the must haves category, especially if you make a lot of cover music or you um, if you use a lot of samples in your beats. Um, this is something that you want to pay close attention to. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Alright, so a couple weeks ago I posted a new video showcasing and testing a new workflow where I was sampling uh, one song and another song where there were two different elements and I brought them together and made my own composition. And what I did was take the instrumental from this song and then take the vocal from this song and I collided them into two and made a whole sample you just it was crazy you got to check that video out I'll, I'll probably put that in the description or put that in the cards somewhere up top all right so a lot of people have been asking me questions about what app that was that I was using and that is called transcribe plus again I think this is a must-have for iOS music producers or just music producers in general it's available on both the iPad and the iPhone so let's check it out and see what it does so let's pull up the screen over here so I can show you what I'm talking about all right, so the first thing we'll do is talk about this important feature. So where you can import anything from videos to audio. If you have audio uh, audio files on your audio share app or any other app, you can pull those in as well as your camera roll. So I have some things in my camera roll. Let's uh, let's go ahead and check out. Uh, let's check out this video here. Right. So I have this guy playing the drums to some groovy beats. All right, so after we've pulled that in, you can see that it has the full video up, up at top, and you can kind of scrub through it just like a regular video editing app. Uh, also, you have this equalizer. It has a built-in equalizer so that you can adjust the um, EQ for any of your highs and lows and mids and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty dope, right? So let's go ahead and play that. Right. So what if I wanted to let's go back. What if I wanted to speed that up? All I have to do is drag this marker here. Or I can I can slow it down in the same regard. So if you want to remix a video or uh, a clip, or something like that you can put your own music on top of that and speed up the video clip as well as the pitch so you can adjust the pitch the same exact way so you grab that marker slide up and down So you can adjust the speed and the pitch with no problem. It doesn't sound crazy. It doesn't sound wonky or anything like that. So yeah, it sounds great, right? But what if you only want the drums? I got you. Watch this. So you can also isolate the audio clips into stems. This app actually uses machine learning technology to isolate each element in the beat or any song that you that you pull up plug in here so once you pull up that menu you have the option to pull up um, you can isolate everything into four parts you can isolate everything into two parts so if there are any vocals in the track and you just want the vocals separate from the instruments you can do it like that or you can isolate everything individually to where it only gives you one stem and eliminates everything else right let's go ahead and um, do I want to do just the drums only that was a pretty wavy wavy uh drum loop now remember this video actually had instruments and all types of stuff into it and right now what you're hearing is just a solo of the drums and and now you're saying ah oh, it's too tinny it doesn't sound good to me. 
you got your built-in EQ where you can go ahead and bring in the bass. Bring down some of that high end. And then you could just export it just like that. All right, so I got this song that I did a couple years ago. I wrote, produced it, and I uh, had a singer uh, sing over it and everything, so. Sexual chocolate. I'm a little way that you're looking inside of me. Some of my body. Love all the things that you do when you do it. When you go about it. Look at the way that you're sticking and moving. It's all that my body. Cause I've been thinking about you. Needing me, pleasing me. Boy, you know I love it. Giving me gatherings, boy, we about to let up. Hitting me, pleasing me, boy, you know I love it. Treating me, pleasing me, I just wanna be your child. Let's pull that into Transcribe Plus. So let's go into Browse. I already know where that is. That is in my audio share files. And I'm going to pull in that track. So if I want to speed it up, I can drag this. That's a whole new song already. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, I forgot to mention that if you double, if you take two fingers and then you place it wherever you uh, made changes, um, you can actually. Um, you can actually reset everything. So if I was to change it here and then double tap, take it back to the beginning. All right, so now that we got that established, let's go ahead and isolate these uh, stems. So if you don't have access to like the stems or the recording or anything like that, and I know I, I uh, did a okay job mixing this. So depending on the mix of the original song and how it was recorded, it'll actually um, isolate everything pretty well. So I want to do, I want to isolate the vocal. I want to do everything. I want to do everything. So I'm going to isolate the vocals into four, four parts. I want to isolate the vocals, the drums, the bass, and I think it was something else. But it isolates it into four parts. And then you're going to see it preparing the audio. Let's let it do its uh, science magic learning stuff, right? And again, this is not an algorithm based sampler like the one you'll find in Beatmaker 3 or uh, in segments or anything like that. This is actually a totally different uh, protocol. So once it's done, you can see all your you can see all your parts and you can scrub through it just like a regular timeline, whether you're in a um, Pro Tool session, a Cubase session or Beatmaker 3 session or a regular video editing app. Same type of format. Over here, you can see that it somehow it knows which one is what, right? So it can see the vocals from the bass. So I want to take out the instruments and just has have, have the vocals and the drums going. Let's get into that. I'm still hearing a little bit of the instrument in there. I'm still hearing a little bit of the instrument in there because only because that instrument that I used did sound a lot like a vocal. But, but knowing like knowing all the elements that I put into here and being able to hear it individually, like this is the bass part. That's wild. So let's say I had an old beat that I wanted to do the drums, redo the drums to.
I completely taken out the drums now. That's a whole new song already. So <laughs> let's take out the bass. Let's take out uh I don't know. <laughs> So I can take this, I can take this and now export it and put it into a, let's say a DAW like Beatmaker 3, Cubases or Zen Beats, right? I can put it into any other DAW and then recreate around it, add my effects to it and all that stuff. So who would this be useful to? So I mentioned people who would do cover music. This would be useful for people who actually like to make tight beats. Uh, let's say you want to make a Drake type beat and you have a vocal sample of his or you want to extract a vocal sample of his and remake the music around his vocals. This will be perfect for you. And then you can make the beat and then extract his, take his vocals completely out and then you'll have that cadence, you'll have that, that bounce exactly like how Drake would rap on it because you've had a strong reference, it, 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 an exact reference, so to speak. So um, also people who are looking to grab some drum samples, some drum chops or anything like that, um, this will also be useful to you to extract with permission, with permission, you can extract drums and use them in your own composition. And that right there is just enough for me to give this one the green light thumbs up and I say this is a must have for your utility uh, apps that you must have in your arsenal for iOS music production or just music production in general and depending on when you're watching this this will actually be on sale on Cyber Monday so if you're watching this on Monday go grab this right now you definitely need it um, it's only five dollars it's usually fifteen dollars so that's about thirty three percent off yeah that's fifteen dollars five dollars you do the math let's 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 get this this is a dope app i use it all the time i would love to see what you guys come up with sampling or extracting different elements of songs and turning them into your own composition if it requires permissions please you guys definitely uh definitely use uh your better judgment when you're taking samples and extracting them and using them as your own and calling them your own if it requires permissions, most definitely reach out to the original composers and uh, producers. Get your permissions, get your paperwork right, get the uh, proper documents so that you can be able to use that in your own composition. Hopefully this video was helpful to somebody, somebody get some use out of this app. It was dope for me, so I thought I'd share it. Again, it's on sale for Cyber Monday only, so it's about $5, 33% off, so go check that out. This is Transcribe Plus. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share this video if you think somebody else may rock with it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.